In tonight's Biz Blitz, Apple catching some heat. Tech sites are slamming the company for charging $100 more for its iPhone 6 Plus. That's the larger phone, even though we're told that the phone cost about $10 more than the iPhone 6 to make. But the 10 million people who came out to buy an iPhone really didn't seem to mind the difference. In fact, they're still waiting for the, something cool. I just wonder about these people who still wait. It, it, it defies logic, uh, but I digress. Back with our all-stars, Scott, Mark, and Susan. Scott, is the media missing the point here of just basic supply and demand? Well, the demand is there, and as we've seen, Neil, the supply tends to trickle in, which makes the demand even more feverish. You know, the funny thing about the iPhone 6, in my opinion, the iPhone 6 Plus, rather, is if you are crazy enough to want this big, gargantuan iPhone with this gigantic screen, Apple figured out that, yes, they can make a profit on you of gargantuan proportions. So I love it. That's a great reason to own the company. My clients own it. I own it. I hope they keep making money off these guys. Well, again, the market will bear what the market will bear, but now as if to rain on the parade, Susan, we've seen this talk about some people with iPhone 6 Pluses put them in their back pocket and are surprised to see that it bends. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm just saying, all right, you're not the sharpest tool yeah, in the yeah, shed yeah. if you're doing that. Right. But, but now others argue, well, look at how easy it is to do. Some guy put out a video saying, yeah, I could bend this. Well, you know, I can do that, too. But I'm just saying, uh, just be be careful, you know. Yeah, you know this whole thing is really to me a non-story. I don't even know why we're talking about it. This is basic well, business. It was a good oh yeah. Story. Okay. It. So yeah, Neil, okay. let me well, tell we'll you. Enjoy your is... final year, <laughs> Susan. You're doing a great job. Uh, so anyway, but it is basic business 101. I mean, you're going to make a healthy profit margin. Good for Apple. They can take that profit. They can reinvest it in their company. They can grow. They can give a return to their shareholders. I mean, look at what the markup is in furniture and clothes and jewelry. That's why we see 50 percent off, 75 percent off my favorite word sale s-a-l-e so you know i think that one thing that apple does not have to do no they don't point. do that yeah. but then people will pay the price i've always said when i teach small businesses and talk to them i say you know what you have to make a profit you're not in this for charity you're not a non-profit and people will pay for what they value if they perceive that something's of value they're going to pay the price for it all right obviously a lot of yeah. these iphone 6 plus purchasers are seeing that value but then worries come up when you see, oh, the, the phones bend when you have them and all that. Could that slow this down? And is that a, a short's way of saying we're going to zing Apple? This is a freight train. App, the, the, the Apple 6 is, it's a, the iPhone 6 is a freight train. There, you know, Tim Cook's going to look at the uh, tech media as just, you know, barking at his heels, nipping at his heels. It's irrelevant. He doesn't care. When you've got this many people who camp out overnight because they want to be the first kid on the block with an iPhone 6 Plus, you know, and you sell 10 million of them in the first weekend, it's a moot point. he doesn't care. He's going to make a ton of money and, you know, good for him. And by the way, the, just a point of advice to anyone, I don't care if you like Apple or not. Don't put a phone in your back pocket. Yeah. I mean, just just don't. I mean, it could be. And super don't sit on it either. And don't sit on it. You right. call people errantly when you do that. Sure, that's absolutely. That's right. Yeah, call them. Oh, right? sorry, that was right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. you. Uh, incredible. <laughs> All right, issue two: soda companies aiming to lower beverage calories by twenty percent in the next ten years. If you think about it, Scott, it's a way of getting the food police off there. You know what, right? It's that and maybe luring back those folks that left you for the vitamin waters, the energy drinks, you know, all the things that have taken market share from soda, Neil, over the last several years that frankly are more, I guess, perceptive reasons, right? I mean, if, if you come out with a, with a ploy to say, hey, lower calorie, lower sugar, you might get some of those drinkers back because certainly they're going to some of the other choices because they're perceived to be healthier, even though they may not be. Well, they're a long way from zero right. calories. Right, they right? are. You know, I think this is an individual choice. So you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink, no pun intended, right? But, but I wonder if you could yes. lead a horse to Diet Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. <laughs> maybe so, right? I'll, I'll have to I check that out. I've horses love Diet Pepsi. Just a horse, like a Mr. Ed, like so. You know, so. I mean, look at this. Yeah. McDonald's, the police, the, the, the health police got on McDonald's with their supersize this. They don't have supersize it anymore. So what do people do? They go buy two quarter pounders and two fries you and two me, soda. Didn't you, you know? yeah. Well, what do you think of this? What do they do? 
soon. If the food police gets its way, this will be the biggest beverage allowed, six ounces, this <laughs> tiny little can. That's typical right? in Japan, you know. That size is the standard size. Right, but they also want to take 75% of sugar out of your typical, you know, beverage, your typical sugary beverage. That's what the food police want to do. They want to impose that on everyone. The soda companies actually are very shrewd here All because right. they are willingly doing this way ahead of time to get out ahead of the yeah. food police pre, and, pre and the trial lawyers. All right. So Heine was a theme in today's uh, <laughs> segment.